Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another video. In today's pick a card reading, we're going to be talking about your superpower, your power, the power that you harness within yourself. And maybe for some of you, you already know it. And maybe for some of you, this might be a gentle reminder from your spiritual team of what you actually harness within yourself. And some of you, this may be giving you clarity on a lot. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pick a pile number or today, if you want to go ahead and pick an oil. So I have a special treat. I'm actually gonna rub the oil on my fingers before I do your specific reading to get that energy. So first we have pile number one or the Shiva oil. Pile number two, love. Pile number three, money. Pile number four, vum, or the sacral chakra. So go ahead and pick which pile is calling out to you, which oil you're drawn to. And before we start the reading, to a lot of my Etsy clients, just be a little bit patient with us because of everything that's going on. Um, shipping and like stuff to get to us is taking a little bit, and then for me, I like to charge it and then send it out to you so um of course you'll be updated in on etsy uh, my boyfriend will be getting to you about your orders and stuff uh but yeah for everybody that picked pile number one or the shiva oil this oil is made for euphoria and third eye meditation intuition protection and energies that have to do with shiva the divine masculine so we're gonna rub that on and then start your reading. The energy feels really good. It, as soon as I put it on, I felt the peaceful energy. So I feel like there is something about your energy that brings peace because I can feel it. So one of your powers is bringing peace to situations, to people's lives to people that are going through hard times. Um, yes, oh my God. I'm not even lying, look at this. Five of Swords. You have a way of bringing people out of their anxiety. You have a way of pe bringing people out of their own head. Um, you show them a different perspective and you, you move them away from darkness you you have this power of moving people away from uh, hard times um queen of pentacles here in this materialistic world you you're such a leader and nurturer um you you're motherly and nurturing and People can rely on you. You have this power of bringing order to chaos. Your presence alone. I don't know. I get it. I get it real strong from you. Your presence brings order to chaos. Your presence helps people that are despirited. You have a very strong ability to help people who are sad, depressed, upset, despirited. And I think if you work with St. John's Wort, you may be able to bring this power out of you even more. You could get candles and you could decorate it with St. John's Wort. Like you could just get the root or um, you could just, you know, there's several different forms you could get it. And so decorate your candles with it. I don't know, get creative. Another card that came up for you guys is patchouli, purpose. You allow people to lift the fog from their mind and they get back to themselves. They see a glimmer of their own spirit when you offer your advice or offer your help or your support or whatever. I see you as a healer. Your power is that you're a healer. You help people move away from the dark, from the chaos. Look at this divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms 
it's almost like you're a spiritual healer, a lot of you guys. Um, you don't even understand sometimes how, but you do heal. You see yourself you like healing people. You see how they heal when like they come to you with the problem or something, but then when they leave your presence, they're different. They're changed. They've moved away from one energy to a different energy. And that's, I feel like it's not just you, but it's also your spiritual team, your ancestors, spirit guides, whatever energies you work with. You've really conjured them up in your life. Look at this. Surrender to spirit. Yes, you guys are spiritual healers. Your, spirit, your power is that you're a spiritual healer. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. A lot of you guys are manifestors, witches, um very spiritual healers shamans that kind of energy coming that's your power um and a lot of you it's gonna bring you success your power is that divine healing that comes through you and it's leading you to success you guys don't hold on to the past don't, like your power is in moving forward with something to do in healing making money off of it but there's two messages here that are telling you don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties move forward leap into the exciting new world of possibilities and then we have here shedding the old there's a change coming your way cultivate a sense of adventure so you'll be able to see these new prospects There's a change coming where you're going to be moving more towards your power. And that is healing, spiritual healing. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great weekend. Bye. Group number two or everybody that picked the love oil. Let's go ahead and see what comes up for you guys. So this love oil is specifically meant for self-love, love for your life love for in relationships healing love healing the heart chakra um healing emotional blocks spiritual blocks so that may be something that has to do with your power let's go ahead and see deep replenishment retreat rest and be held all right so group number two you give off a very calming vibe you guys are the people that people can come to when they feel alone when they feel hopeless when they feel um in need of nurturing in need of love you give off a very loving energy where people feel like they can rest around you. People get replenished by your energy. Which I do want to mention, which, that's beautiful, but it's also, you have to be careful because people get replenished by your energy. If you think about that, then they're kind of draining you a little bit too. So be careful, you know? Um, make sure that you also rest, retreat, and be held and replenish yourself. Take days off, go into solitude for a little bit, spend some time doing things you love. That's how you get your energy back because people are so drawn to this very loving spark you have within you. The next card we have here is enjoy the journey. Stay present and flexible. <laughs> Do you guys see that? I have like these little heart glitters on my or inside of my love oil. I'm gonna put that right there somewhere. Okay, stay present and flexible. Many changes are going on for you and around you. These changes are not only good, but necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. All right, so this is something, hmm. I feel like some of you struggle to stay present 
and a lot of you really you have this beautiful loving energy to give but for some reason i don't know if you're scared to give this loving energy out or you're blocking it or what i don't know you guys have this very beautiful loving energy okay like it's that kind of energy like you know you can go to a person you know they'll be there for you you know they're honest and they're genuine all that stuff you have that energy but you're blocking it somehow a lot of you guys um and the reason is because something happened in the past or you're afraid that something is going to happen in the future if you allow this love loving energy within yourself out so you hold it in you guys have the power to manifest anything you guys have the power to manifest happiness there's the energy that you carry a lot of you this may be ancestral your power is you have very good energy but a lot of you are blocking it you a lot of you are being called to rest retreat and be held because you have the power to provide this for other people but you're blocking your own self from receiving it right now you guys have the power to attract anything that makes you happy but i feel like there are some of you that are blocking it and the block is that you're not expressing yourself you're blocking your own power of manifesting because you keep so many things in and that's just you're keeping a lot of ener like hurt energy, fear energy, doubt energy, obligation, and whatever it is, right? Trauma uh, energy within yourself still. Resentment energy, grudges, right? That's an energy and you carry it within yourself and that holds space. And that space could be occupied by something else. That space could be occupied by your own power that you have within yourself already to manifest. But it's just like blocked and clogged with dust and debris. So there needs to be a time where you take the blindfolds off. I feel like because you shut your own power off because you're so afraid to give your own love away, there's so much conflict in your guys' life. A lot of you fear love when in actuality, this is your biggest power. And love is the highest vibration. Like, you guys are very powerful. Stop being so afraid of love. That's your power. Stop waiting around. Talk, communicate, love. <laughs> and the last card that came out for you guys is the romance card. Rose, the highest vibration. Roses vibrate higher than human beings. They carry a very high vibration. And roses are the symbol of love and romance. You guys look at that. Your superpower is love. You, you have an insane power when it comes to love. And if you just open yourself up to it, you're going to receive the energy of the sun, which is growth, manifestation, success. All right, you guys. So that was your reading. That is your power. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three, or everybody that picked the money oil. So I'm going to go ahead and rub some on to my hands and see what is your power. I feel like a lot of you guys have good money energy and that's why you were drawn to the money oil. This money oil is my personal money oil. I do sell it on my Etsy shop and you guys get um, some of my own personal batch that I have been working on for eight years. So I do get a sense that a lot of you are good at attracting money. So let's see what is coming up for you guys. A lot of you guys are very free spirited. You, your power is to enjoy things. You look for the beauty in life. Um, a lot of you, uh, your power is your ancestors, your spirit guides, your uh, people that have passed away that you love. They they are a part of your power they back you up they protect you they communicate with you 
Um, diving into new depths. You're a risk taker. You guys are, you guys like adventure. So, um, 2020 and like just staying indoors a lot and stuff like that was not the easiest for a lot of you because your power lies in your, you shining your light and you like to shine your light where everybody sees and feels it. Um, There is a deeper meaning to what's happening. You might be looking at this from the surface and missing what's really going on. Take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what it is you're feeling about your current situation. So a lot of you guys, okay, you like to celebrate, even if that means you celebrating just with you and your husband, you and your partner, you and your best friend, just you and your mom on the couch sipping some wine and watching a movie like celebration could be anything even like both of you having a cup of coffee together or celebration could be you yourself watching a movie alone and you know lighting your favorite candle i don't know celebration is there's so many forms of celebration and it doesn't have to be this extravagant thing and i feel like a lot of you have learned that where it doesn't take like a party to celebrate something or to enjoy some, an event with people. Um, I feel like a lot of you found different ways to connect with people and enjoy people and like shine your light in different ways where you're still kind of like the center of attention kind of. I hope that that's resonating with some of you. Um, a lot of you see ideas and uh, motivation and inspiration and beauty where other people don't a lot of you pick up on ideas and inspirations faster and quicker than other people that's your power a lot of you uh, when you pick up on ideas inspirations and stuff like that very very quickly then that means your your crown chakra is open a lot for you to receive ideas and inspiration motivations and stuff like that guidance and stuff your crown chakra opens up so a lot of you that is a part of your power is you receive this guidance from your ancestors from your spirit team and it allows you to look beyond or look underneath the depths you know wow energetic upgrades a new way of being, integration. Okay, so whatever situation that is going on in your life right now, it is leading you to open up to your power. So, you know, take a step back, take a little bit of a breather. This is what's been going on, is your body is changing. You know, energetic upgrades are happening in your spiritual body. Um, just So just let yourself kind of rest and relax and celebrate, which is your power, you know, a good vibration, high vibration is your superpower. That is your power. Um, and a lot of you, you know, sometimes that power gets blocked, you know, and I feel like what's happening right now is it may have been blocked and what's happening right now is you're upgrading energetically so that you, so this block is not going to resonate with your vibration anymore. So it's not going to be there anymore. If that makes sense. The moon. The moon is looking underneath the surface. So yeah, you guys see things other people don't. You guys see the secrets. You guys are given the secrets through your ancestors, through loved ones, through like God, what do I wanna say? Energies and gods, goddesses, deities you work with, you have a very strong connection with them. That is a power of yours. Now, surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So for you to connect to your power more, you need to surrender yourself more and more to wonder and awe and things that just, just take your breath away, you know? Things that you find so beautiful. These things will enhance your power. Like say... I don't know. 
don't know. Like for me, the first thing I think of is is your environment. Your environment should spark wonder and awe within you. You know, that's the first thing I thought of. I don't know. Maybe a lot of you have been thinking about redecorating or something. Um, and the last card that came up for you guys is dandelion wishes. So a lot of you can use dandelions to enhance this already innate power of yours that lives inside of you. Dandelions are for wishes. You know those things you blow when you're little, uh, when you're a little kid, you blow into it and like all those little things fly away. It's so magical. Um, and you guys have the power to manifest wishes through your ancestors, through seeing things nobody else does. And sometimes that kind of gets you guys in a little bit of trouble because you're like, why don't you guys see this? Like, why are you, is nobody seeing this? Like, you guys see things nobody else does. And sometimes it can get frustrating for you, but this is a power of yours, not theirs. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, group number four, or everybody that picked the Vum oil. This oil is everything to do with the sacral chakra. Now, the sacral chakra governs our confidence, it governs our sexuality, how much pleasure we allow into our life, and how much joy we allow into our life. So this is why I created this oil. So what I'm gonna do is rub that over my hands while I do the reading. So I think a lot of you, the reason you were drawn to this oil is because your superpower lays in your sacral chakra. A lot of you guys, it's in your creation energy. It's in what you feel passionate about, what sparks passion in you. There's something about it that gives you power. Uh, and sexuality too. A lot of you guys are probably very, very, very attractive, very pretty, very handsome. Um, a lot of you like to take care of yourself. Uh, a lot of you guys are very creative. Your power lies in these aspects of yourself. Um, let's see what comes up in this reading. Three of Cups, you guys are free spirits. You like to celebrate. Um, you like pleasure, you like joy, you like feeling happy. Um, justice comes up. So justice is like, this could be either a proposal coming up or it could be like Actually, you know what? You, specifically, group number four, have a unique ability to bring people together. People who are opposing. So a lot of you guys would probably make really, really good lawyers. Uh, a lot of you guys probably maybe are lawyers or studying to be a lawyer or something criminal justice, something in the court system, something like that. A lot of you guys um, like to bring opposing people to an understanding. I see that that's a power of yours. Um, that I think you've had in lifetimes. This is not the f first lifetime that you've had this. This is a power your soul carries. Like the next card that comes up is Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? So in your power to bring people together and in your power to help people see different point of view, <clears throat> I don't know why my voice cracked. Um, okay, so you guys know uh, anything that happens during a reading, I always feel like it's some kind of a sign or a symbol because we are like communicating right now with the spirit world, right? So for my throat to crack like that, I feel like you're, a lot of you guys' power may be blocked by your form of expression or your form of communication. Are you guys like having trouble expressing how you're feeling or putting your feelings into words or something like that or expressing your feelings? Like I feel like that could be a block. A lot of you guys are very, very powerful in 
making people see certain points of views, which could also make you very good at manipulation. Um, so you have to kind of be careful, like, you know, balancing out those scales. A lot of you are very good at convincing people to do things. The tone of your voice is very motherly. You guys have a very persuasive tone of voice and you guys have nurturing tone of voice, that feminine energy in your voice that lets people know that you are there for them. Let me see what else comes up. <laughs> Surrender your need to always be right. Okay, so this, I feel like your powers have specifically, okay, since your sacral chakra is so active, this is such a passionate chakra, passionate energy, okay? So sometimes when you get really, really passionate, your sacral chakra may be really, really open, you know, or really, really active. So your power lies in your sacral and sometimes it can cause you to have this need to be right because you're so passionate. So, you know, in your power day, it does lie weaknesses, but it's, it is your power so you control it ultimately. But you are being asked to give others the gift of letting them be right, to be yielding, not rigid. And this will help you resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. So your power is bringing relationships together, bringing people together. Your power is also making people feel loved and comfortable. You have power in your sacral chakra, in your ovaries, or if you're a man, you have power in your sacral like chakra area. And you bring this power out by allowing yourself to be creative. And when you allow yourself to do that, watch how you start manifesting left and right. I'm telling you. We also have here where you need to be. Acknowledge how you're feeling. Have faith that the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved. So whatever is going on right now, it could be that something needed to break away. Um... And you're exactly where you need to be because there is something in this for you. Whatever this is. Um, and how you can harness things in your favor, always actually, is by focusing on your sacral chakra, nourishing your sacral chakra. Uh, and there's a lot of ways you could do that. I, I think I have some videos on my channel. You can also like watch other videos on YouTube about sacral chakra. You can get books on chakras, you can Google it, but I think a lot of you guys, your power lies in your sacral chakra, and so it's always up to you to mother that chakra. Also pay attention to your relationship with your mother or your grandmother or motherly figure and how it affected your sexuality, how it affected your creativity, how it affected like how much pleasure and joy you allow into your life. So that's maybe something you guys want to think about. Because it may, some of you, it may be a block between you and your sacral chakra. And the last card that comes up for you is sugar, sweetness. Sugar is something that could be used for the sacral chakra to open it up. Um, sweet things are really, really good for sacral chakra. It's also really good for um, sweetening up a situation and you're good at that that is a power that you hold you sweeten situations up you sweeten the conflict uh, between people up like you have you have a i don't know if you guys are understanding what i'm saying like you sweeten dark situations up wow you guys are very unique set of people okay i hope you guys enjoyed this thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye